What was Cossack food like? The modern Ukrainian has access to a wide variety of food products. Therefore, we rarely think about the fact that the diet of our ancestors was much more modest. A few centuries ago, familiar tomatoes were considered poison, and Ukrainians did not know potatoes until the second half of the 18th century. But of course, everyone tried to make food diverse. Even people as busy in campaigns and battles as the Saporizhia Cossacks. We will talk about Cossack cuisine today. The military style of life of the Cossacks, especially in Zaporozhye Sich, did not include much concern about food. Cossacks prepared their own food. Food was prepared three times a day by the cook and his assistants in cast iron or copper cauldrons in each kuren. The dishes were usually wooden. One of the peculiarities of the Cossack diet was the insignificant consumption of baked bread, because flour was not always in sufficient quantity. In addition, baking bread required a large number of people, considerable labor and time. Popular food in Sich was porridge, like dishes made from various grains. The table was served. Solomeka, that is, rye flour, thickly boiled with water and fried in oil. Titerio liquid millet porridge, to which sour rye duff was added during boiling. Titerio was used in a cold form with fish soup, fat, milk, or just water. They also ate sherba, thinly boiled flour on fish soup and broth. Thin millet porridge with an admixture of wheat or any other fresh duff instead of sarai. The food was washed down with various drinks from a vessel called a mykalok or a cork with a capacity of three to five glasses. Liquid food was eaten with spoons, solid food was taken with hands. Buckwheat dumplings with garlic or fish soup were often served for dinner. There were many fish at that time. Pike, carb, lines, bream, catfish, roti, it was wilted, dried, salted, fish oil was made, fish was used both boiled and baked. Fish was an essential addition to the diet of Cossacks both in summer and in winter. According to the Cossack custom, it was necessary to eat everything that was boiled and baked at the table. Food supplies were constantly replenished by the Cossacks. Those who lived in winter quarters especially tried. Their main task was the delivery of a variety of food starting with meat, flour, lard, and ending with vegetables and fruits. Sometimes the Cossacks baked cakes, Zagrebay the dove was raked into the heat. In addition, the wealthy classes ate meat dishes more often, the poor less often mainly on major holidays. Stewed or fried ducks. Deez. Turkeys. Different ways of cooking pork. Lamb. Veal. Horse meat. Meat of hunted animals at. Cossacks used a lot of garlic, horseradish, onions, bitter pepper, cabbage, red beets, saw uzvar. During military campaigns, the diet was completely different. 
the range of products also changed. When going on a campaign, a Cossack had to take with him a supply of food, which should last for several months. That's why they took something that didn't spoil. Crackers. Cereals. Flour. Lord. Cossacks carried water in wooden trunks tied to the saddle. Fishing nets were also taken on the hikes. Consumption of alcoholic beverages during campaigns was strictly prohibited. Violators of this law were punished by death. At sea, those who consumed a dose of alcohol were thrown overboard by seagulls. Each Cossack wore a belt belt and a belt purse was slung over his shoulder. They were kept in the wallet. Arm care, flint and it, tinder, to the belt were tied a seam and lawsucknik. The horse harness was repaired with the help of a seamstress and a wooden spoon was kept in the spoon case. Zeporozhian Cossacks could and knew how to eat well and go for a walk. To drink a glass of Veronuka, but that was after hiking. The Cossacks also liked to taste hominy. Duff from millet and corn which was used without salt but with salty cheese. And sometimes with a piece of mutton, dried or dried with salt, this meat was like a log. The Cossacks took over the receipt for cooking hominy from Moldavian and Tatar shepherds. Cossacks borrowed some preservation methods from Tatars. Milk was processed into cheese and butter. Cellars with ice were used to store products. Of course, the high quality of products and clean water allowed the Cossacks to live to a very old age. Which, unfortunately, cannot be said about our modern life. However, we have thousands of years of national traditions of healthy eating that have stood the test of time. And we should be proud of our cuisine, and even more so use those valuable assets of our ancestors to establish healthy nutrition as the key to a healthy nation.